If you are thinking to create a fat counter mobile application and thinking to publish on App Store, just hold on for a few minutes. You might want to change your decision because Apple is going to reject your application. It will say that already there are a lot of burp counters and fat counter mobile applications in App Store, and we cannot allow you to publish another one which is just like that. So this is a category of App Store rejections which comes under spam or. Uh, Uh, apps which are already present on the app store in huge quantity so in this case apple will reject your application like this there are multiple scenarios which i have found or which i have experienced in my development journey where apple rejects your application or sometimes it can even suspend your application for always okay so in this video my motive is to give you all the scenarios which i found which i discovered uh, so without wasting more time let's get ahead with the first scenario that is called app completeness yes so if app store has rejected your application saying the heading uh, which is called app completeness then you might want to find the areas in your application which are not yet complete like sometimes we put some buttons put some ui but they are not yet completed we just put them to showcase the ui right or we sometimes put the lorem ipsum text sometimes put the place the text placeholder images that is not fine with apple because that violates the apple user interface uh, regulations and policies right so in this case apple will definitely reject your application so find out the areas where you are just putting the ui but that is not a functioning uh, thing fun uh, fully functioning feature right so find out those areas and remove those areas or hide those areas for now it's fine if you put less features on the app store uh, in your application but do not put incomplete features on the app store when you are publishing publishing your application next case can be spam or copycat application so this scenario i've already told you about so if you are publishing like a very common application or you just purchased a template from an online source and you just made a few changes and then you are publishing your application apple is going to reject your application calling it as a spam or copycat application so if you are even purchasing a template that is totally fine but change significant amount of stuff in the application change the ui change the functionalities change the features add your own stuff add your own taste to the application make it unique and then push it to the app store otherwise apple store is going to say it as a spam and will reject your application and if you publish it multiple times it may suspend your application for always next case can be excessive or irrelevant permissions so if your app is asking for irrelevant permissions or excessive permissions then apple is going to reject your application for example you did not have any place where you uh, have integrated push notifications in your application right but you still asked for the notification permission in your application but you have not published a app which has the push notifications feature so in this case you are asking for the user to give you the permission to send notifications but there are no notifications at all in your application another case can be you ask the user to give permission of camera or gallery but there is no such feature in your application where you are actually using that feature where the user had to click a picture or upload a picture from the gallery right so in this case you have to define or uh, publish the scenario where you might want the camera or gallery gallery service if you are unable to do that if you are unable to provide any proof then apple is going to reject your application so avoid having unnecessary permissions in your application in the info.plist file if you are using flutter so avoid doing that and uh, try to ask for the permissions which are actually needed by your application The next case can be user interface guidelines. Apple is very strict about their user interface, user experience. Apple cannot tolerate any place or any area where you are just, you know, compromising with the UI or not following the UI guidelines that are given by the Apple. There are a lot of UI guidelines. I know that you cannot remember everything, but just try to make a list that hey, if I am doing this, I should not have to do this. Right? For example, uh in your application by mistake you put a button which says go to profile but actually takes the user to payment page or advertisement page or coupons page contest page or something that is not intended for that button right so in this case you are violating the user guidelines that are given by the apple another case can be if you are having sign in with google in your application or any other social authentication then you must must have sign in with apple button also in your application as one of the authentication uh, option Another case can be if your application is having account creation feature where the users are expected to create an account then your application must have delete account feature also so these are some of the user guidelines user interface guidelines that are given by the apple so please follow them otherwise your apple app will be rejected Another scenario can be third party in app purchases or in app subscriptions payment services. For example, you are not utilizing Apple's in app purchases or in app subscriptions, right? You are going ahead with a third party service like Stripe or Razorpay or any other payment uh, SDK, right? So in this case what you are doing is or what you have to take care is uh, if your application is uh, having 
if you're if you're selling a consumable thing for example uh, you are building a game application and you're selling lives or gems or treasures right so in this case or credits so in this case you are selling a sum, selling something that will be consumed by the user right so in this case you are selling a digital product so for this scenario you must have to use apple's in app purchase or in app subscriptions you cannot go ahead with third party payment services but for example you are building such an application where where you are just a mediator right you have one type of user and you have another type of users they both have to do the transaction right so in this case you are not earning anything or you might be earning a little bit of commission right so in this case you can go ahead with third party services like stripe or razer pay right but if you are the person or you are the business entity which is going to earn from that purchase by selling credits or by selling uh, some digital goods then you must have to use in app purchases and in app subscriptions because you are actually hampering the apples and uh, google business right they actually earn 20 30% commission in that purchase transaction so you cannot hamper that business apple and google won't allow you to do that so that's why just uh, keep this in mind if you are having if you are just a third party mediator for doing the transaction you can go ahead with third party service but if you are the business entity selling digital goods then you have to use apple and google in app purchase and in app subscriptions the next case can be for news applications health applications and cryptocurrency applications so you have to be compliant with the local laws so if you are publishing an application let's say in european union where you are not holding any license to put a uh, health application on app store and play store then your app will definitely be rejected or in india if you are not allowed to be a mediator for cryptocurrency transactions right then your app will definitely be rejected so in that case you have to upload the licenses and certificates that hey i am authorized to be such a mediator for such applications like news if you are spreading news right then you have to hold the license for that so in that case your apple app might be rejected so take care of such points if you are the owner of such applications next case can be intellectual property infringement let's say you are uploading a, a music application or video player application where you are just scraping the music from the internet from spotify and you are just playing in your application so in that case you have not taken the permission from the artist you do not hold a copyright uh, permissions for that content for that art right so in that case you either have the permission from the artist to play that content or to show that content in your application otherwise your application will be rejected under uh, intellectual property infringement uh, from the apple last case that i'm going to talk about in this video is submission process manipulation i know that the apple app store procedure is very hectic and boring and sometimes when you are a first time founder you try to manipulate that submission process but apple can detect that and may suspend your application for lifetime so i'll give you an example of my friend who was trying to upload an application so he previously had the in app purchases in his application but now uh, he wanted to shift from in app purchases to in app subscriptions so for that he had to submit a review request with a screenshot that this is how i'm going to uh, uh, take charge uh, or take money from the user just a screenshot he had to upload but he had not integrated in app subscriptions yet in his application but he wanted to get the review done for some other push so what he did he created that whole ui in figma uh, in a ui software just like cloning the ui that apple provides and he pushed that so apple detected that and rejected his application so in this case he tried to manipulate the submission process just to get his review done in like a day which would have taken 3 or 4 days so in this case uh, i would suggest that follow the procedure otherwise you will end up uh, having uh, app suspension or spending more days right so these were some of the scenarios that are common and i know that i have not covered everything for that you might have to read the apple policies apple guidelines but that is actually boring so i think this will help you and majorly cover all the cases till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot